welcome to Trillo Tip Thursday. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you how I use Trillo to organize different aspects of my business. And in case you don't know me, I'm Mariah and my business is Bloom Hustle Grow and I help service-based entrepreneurs get their business operations organized and optimized to make the hustle happier and we do that through establishing systems and processes. Today I wanted to share with you how I use Trillo to organize my business. This is just a quick walkthrough of some of the core boards that I use in my business. So let's dive in and I'm going to be sharing my screen and showing you those boards. There is a lot of different ways that Trillo can help keep you and your business organized. The first set of boards I'm gonna talk about are more of the information boards. As you probably know, there is a lot of moving pieces when it comes to organizing your business and keeping everything where you can find it. The information boards are meant to prevent you from having to dig through all your file folders, dig through your emails, dig through like bookmarks, all that kind of stuff. So these particular boards are really focused on keeping the information side of your business organized. The first one is the business dashboard. This is where I keep things like important links, links to other boards that I use for my business, information that is overarching to my business. So any Thing, like links to certain contracts that I use I would keep that here so I don't have to search is it you know in my email is it in a file folder I don't know I keep all my social media links and coffee chat links on one card so if I, it's a discovery call I can easily send that link to somebody either if they're in my email or on Facebook group or whatever and all of this is just meant as a shortcut I'm not scrambling around looking for where these important links and folders and files live. One of my cards that I use, actually use quite often is my brand asset card and I have all my hex codes as well as my fonts here. Another board that I use that's information based is the CRM board. So I'm not going to show you my personal board just because it has a lot of client information and personal information on it, but I have a CRM board that tracks every single port person that books an appointment for me. And so I have this integrated with Acuity. Zapier and Acuity work together to send any incoming appointments to this board. So it may be a discovery call, it might be a client call, it might be just a coffee chat. All of those come to this board and it helps keep me organized so I know who I've talked to, who I need to follow up with, and I have all their information sitting right here. So when I do have a client call, I don't have to search around looking for what's their website Side. What information were they trying to get on the call with me for? It all comes over as part of that Zapier integration. So any questions that I have within the Acuity appointment comes over to this card and it all lives right here. So that's a really easy way to keep me on track with my clients. Now I don't necessarily use this board when I'm when I have ongoing clients where they're a retainer client. I do utilize that in a, in a different way for them, but this keeps me organized on onboarding and for my one-off clients. Another information board are all of my courses. So I, I'm a huge learner, as you might be able to tell from this board. And what I do in this board is I keep links to my logins. I don't necessarily put in my password. I use LastPass for that. But I have like where I go to log in. So I don't have to dig through my email. And I mean, honestly, at this point, I'd probably forget I had half these courses. But this helps keep me organized and I'm able to utilize what I bought to the fullest. And I don't have to like search around and look for it. I also keep my personality tests on this board because I actually have used those multiple times. I've been in programs where they've asked for your personality tests for different tests. Honestly, I could not remember if I'd taken the test or even like what I scored for a lot of these tests. So this helps me just have one place to come and I don't have to retake a test every time a program asks for it or something like that. A big part of how I use Trillo to keep my business going is for my content strategy. The very first board I ever created in Trillo was for my editorial calendar to 
help me organize and make sure I was promoting all the blog posts that I was creating when I started my business. So this content strategy board is kind of my new fresh one. I'm actually changing quite a bit about my content strategy this year. So I'm starting out with a fresh board, but you can see here, like I have different information on it. And then when the strategy gets up and going, all of this will be filled in. So we're gonna pop over to my board from this current year. You'll see on here it has a lot of different cards and information. So essentially this board keeps all of my information for my content strategy from idea to creation to promotion. Here is a blog post card that I have. I have little snippets, copy for sharing, and that would be on social media. I have links like to the draft. I always draft all of mine in Google Docs. I have a blog post checklist. So these are all the things I need to make sure has happened when I publish a blog post. And then I have my social media sharing. This makes sure that I am utilizing my blog post to the fullest and getting it out there because there's really no point in you taking the time to publish something and not promote it. This board helps keep all of that plus more on track. I also have a content bank. After the current year closes, I move all the blog posts I've published in this, the current year, to the content bank. And the content bank holds all of my past published posts. And this board really actually, I utilize a lot. I utilize it when I'm looking to link within blog posts. I use it within Facebook groups. So if somebody asks a question and I feel like my blog post matches their question, I can easily come in here, find it and pull that link. I use it for when I'm scheduling social media. This board I actually visit more often than I would maybe think. I also have all my opt-ins. So again, if somebody's asking me or I have a client or something like, do you have resources on this? I can grab that here as well as my courses. I also live here. All the links to those are right on these cards. So it's super easy for me to grab and share with somebody in a timely manner without having to dig through my blog or search my website. The other one is a social media bank. This is utilized with Zapier and it's connected to Buffer. And this allows me to schedule posts for Facebook or Twitter. You can also use LinkedIn. I don't use it for Instagram just because Instagram is so different and you, can't, you have to have that link in bio and all. there's a lot of different steps. Plus the graphic size is a little different. So I don't utilize it for that but I do utilize it for Facebook and Twitter to keep evergreen posts going there. The other way that I utilize Trello is for my strategic planning and for my day-to-day -day operations. I have a board that I use to plan out my entire year in my business. This is used to reflect and to plan for the coming year. I created this board because I never found quite the right planner. It never had like all the things that I wanted to examine and make sure I reflect on and covered all the different aspects of what I did in my business. I created my own planning board. Each of these cards has questions on here under the checklist. These questions help prompt you to reflect on the different aspects of your business operations and your business strategy, but it also gives you space to plan for the next year. And you'll see I have like new projects listed here. These are some of the focuses I'm going to have coming in the next year. I go over every single marketing channel and strategy that I have. I pull data on that. I reflect on like, you know, what worked and what didn't work. And then I refine my strategy based on those reflections for the coming year. And then that information trickles into like my content strategy board and my 90 day board. We also have like offers that I have as well as revenue goals. And throughout the year, I would track these here on this board. So I just have like a snapshot and look at like, what, how close am I to reaching this particular goal? There's things about clients, so I make sure I reflect on who I'm serving every year and make sure it's aligned with my messaging as well as reflecting who were those really good clients that I want to have in the coming year. I even have questions about like my schedules. What are some things that can make my day better and make my business run smoother in the day to day? So this board covers all of that. After I've done my planning, I have a 90 day planning board 
This board is really where I keep track of my day-to-day -day operations. This is my to-do list. This is my task list. This, this is where I keep links to projects that I'm working on. This is where I come every single day to say, okay, what do I need to work on today? What needs to get done? This board is really the core of my day-to-day -day operations. And this is the one from this past year, 2020, because it's much more filled. When I start out, it's just a few cards and then I build it out. So each 90 days, I put in all the weeks for the next 90 days. So that's three months. And then I plan out what I'm going to do each week, what my project focus is, what's my learning focus. All of those things go on this particular board and on these cards. And I have week cards. And what happens here is I put in my to-dos for each day of the week. So whatever is coming up, I also keep track of my content strategy here. The separate board holds all that information, but I have it linked here. So I know, okay, I have all these things scheduled. They're ready to go out for this week. So I make sure I'm sticking to the strategy that I said I wanted to do for my business for this year or for this quarter. Sometimes it changes. I also have kind of like weekly to-do lists. So like Friday to-dos to make sure I kind of keep everything organized and on track. I also have retainer clients. So I have certain things I do for them each week and they have their own checklists on these cards. I also link, of course, I mentioned learning and projects, so I'd link to those boards or those cards that house that information. If you are planning on a large scale project, so maybe you're creating a membership or you're creating a course, then you probably want to have a separate board for that. So that doesn't necessarily live on my 90 day planning board, but it would be linked like, hey, work on this project this day and I would link to the board. Here's an example of a forever funnel that I was working on. At one point, this is just a lot of different moving pieces and information that I needed to gather up. This is an example of a project board. Those are the core boards that I use Trello for. I also have used Trello with clients um, where I help them manage lunches and manage their team day-to-day -day operations. So there is a lot of different ways that you can utilize Trello. Any bigger, larger scale project, whether it's content or, you know, something else, I would maybe have a separate board for that to lay that out. But otherwise, these nine boards are really the core of my business operations utilizing Trillo. If you want to get my full Trillo system for your business, you can grab the Trillo course bundle and you get all the board templates that we just talked about with walkthrough videos as well as automation suggestions. The Trillo course bundle comes with Trillo 101, so you can understand the basics of how Trillo works. We go through all the components of Trillo in that course. You have the Trillo content management system, which is the content strategy board or editorial calendar, if you want to call it that, the social media bank, the content bank, and a project board that is a little more generalized, but basically it's intended if you're doing that larger scale content project, like a course or a membership. It gives you just a starting point of how you may organize that. And then we have Manage Your Business with Trillo. So that particular course covers the strategic planning board with all those great prompts to help you reflect on your business as well as plan for the year ahead. The 90-day planning board, and we talk about how you customize that to how you work. The course board, the business dashboard, and the CRM board, as well as I share the Zapiers that I use to connect that with Acuity. All of that is included in the bundle and you do get it for a discounted rate if you buy all three together. If you're ready to dive into Trillo and get your business organized, that's a great shortcut for you.